This is just going to be a pretty short video on the uh, capabilities of the Cuddy Link system. This is one of my Cuddy Link G series. And it's hooked up to a battery backup. I have all my cameras running off that. If you don't, you're not going to expect much battery life. But right now we're going on two and a half months still running on the external batteries. And this one particular is a G series uh, dual flash. It's the only dual flash I have. The rest of them are double barrel strobes. Overlooks a pretty good scrapes once the rut kicks in. Now the home unit is on the other side of that hill. Probably 300 yards, maybe 400 yards away. You can see it's pretty thick cover. A pretty steep hill here. This uh, oil pipeline and all this water down here. This little pond collects from runoff running down each side of the hill. So it's a pretty steep hill. Now we're going to walk back and kind of get an idea of how far away the home unit is. I have a, a cutting back cell, home cell set up at my house and I have no trouble with reception. This particular camera, the Cuddy Link signal, uh, runs about 60. So, you, uh, like I said, about three to 400 yards away through cover and hills. But, here we go. Up this hill. through here. Here's one of the strobe cameras. Again, back up. Pretty green now. Pretty thick canopy with all the rain we've had. Two more strobe cameras. Uh, one about another 100 yards straight through that. Another one about 50 yards behind that one back in there. Generally, I wouldn't go back anywhere near the Cuddy Link cameras, but I do have a few Spy, spy Point Solar cameras as I'm collecting cards today. Right, we're back up in the pipeline. Like I said, that first camera is back in the woods to the right of this pond at the bottom of this hill. And the home unit is back through the woods. I have my house back there, and that's where we'll go next.
cell, uh, dual flash, uh, no problems with signal. Like I said, every one of these cameras is running anywhere from 50 to 75 to 80. And as you can see, it's some pretty thick cover back there and probably three to 400 yards away from the furthest camera. Uh, each camera is actually going directly back to this. None of them are daisy chaining. Both of them have some kind of direct line of sight to this, even though there's pretty good hills and pretty thick cover. So anybody on the fence about the Cuddy Link system, uh, I suggest you buy the battery backup or you're going to be disappointed. But uh, with the battery backup, uh, I would expect more than at least three months with the backup and probably another two uh, with the internal battery. So you're still looking at five to six months of battery life, which is more than enough to get you through season. Uh, okay, that's it. Thanks. Hey everyone, it's me again. I'm back in the woods. Uh, this is one of the uh, just regular cutty back strobe cameras. I run uh, one of the strobes and, like I said earlier, some of the spy point solar cameras out in the pipeline. Uh, you don't have to worry about battery life, they never die. Uh, as well as a couple stealth cams and uh, one of the stealth cam DS4Ks for video. I keep all the spot, the solar cameras on video all the time. Yeah, obviously the DS4K runs video. And the rest of them, uh, just pictures. Uh, anywhere that's not in deep cover, I'll stick one of these cameras out, one of the stealth cams or one of the cutty back, non cutty link cameras. Uh, anywhere easy to get to where I'm not going to disturb a bedding area or anything like that. But I kind of cut the last video a little short about the cutty link. And I want to talk a little bit more about it. You need to understand what you're getting into when you buy it. I see a lot of bad reviews, battery life's horrible, uh, the pictures are horrible. Uh, before you make a major purchase like that, these, these cameras aren't cheap by any means. Uh, about $199 for the J-Series, and that's the, the cheapest model that I know of. G-Series run a little bit more. But, I mean, read up on it before you jump in and make a decision, then you're not happy with it. Uh, the Cuddy Link system sends back thumbnails. Uh, they're not a full-size, full-resolution image. Now, uh, if, you're, if your subject is, you know, within 30 feet or so, maybe 40 feet, uh, you're going to get a pretty good picture. You're going to be able to tell what you're looking at. It's going to be pretty crisp and clean even for a thumbnail. But uh, further than that, it's going to blur. You try and uh, blow the image up, it's going to blur out and wash out. You're not going to get a good image. Uh, you should understand that uh, the full size image is on the card so if you do make a back change batteries or something like that you can always swap out cards and get the full size image to look at and they are crystal clear great images uh, i love the dual flash camera there's nothing better than a color nighttime image uh, they're crystal clear uh, no problems with them whatsoever uh, battery life is the other thing uh, i think that in the beginning a lot of people jumped on this and then they were just the battery life is horrible when you're talking about a browning or a stealth cam or a spy point uh, something you're going to get a year on a set of AA batteries on and you're dumping you know four d cells in these cutty link cameras and double a's for the for the j series and you're only getting you know maybe a month and a half out of a set of batteries, two months maybe, you know, generally pushing about two months, depending on the amount of images you have, how often you're taking pictures. Uh, I generally don't take uh, bursts or have a real uh, short trigger time in the off season like this. It's still June, uh, getting closer to September. I'll probably bump that up to maybe uh, a two or three image trigger with maybe a 15 to 30 second trigger time to reset. Uh, right now, I think I'm in a minute on each camera. Uh, I don't need to see a bunch of does and fawns. I wear against good bucks and velvet, but you know, I'm not ready to start um, using up a lot of battery life. Uh, but uh, people disappointed in the battery life, get the battery back up. If you're gonna have your cameras uh, on an edge of a field, somewhere you're getting a lot of sunlight, buy the solar option. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, I bought the solar option when it first came out uh, without doing a lot of homework. I had it back here in the woods, and as you can see, uh, not a lot of sunshine. If you're not getting a good, you know, six to eight hours of sunshine, four, six, eight hours, 
the batteries are still going to go dead. It'll take a little more time, but they will go dead. Uh, so if you've got a place where you can put the, the solar panels, uh, where you're getting a lot of sun, like I said, field edges, uh, places like that, by all means, you, you'll be happy. But if you buy the battery back up, uh, you're still talking uh, six D cells, plus the four on the cameras if you're running uh, G series, you're gonna get six months. Plenty of plenty of battery life. A little more expensive to run. Uh, I go to Menards and buy the cheapest D cell batteries I can find. I think I get 12 of them for $9.99, and they last just as well as a Duracell. Uh, like I said, the, the cameras I have in now are all pushing two and a half months on a set. Uh, so running off the externals. Uh, can't really think of anything else. I mean, uh, like I said, the images. Uh, know what you're getting into. Don't expect a great full-size image because that's not what you're going to get. That's not what the system was designed for. Uh, but if you if you understand what you're getting, you'll be plenty happy with the system. Uh, there's nothing better than putting your cameras back in deep cover, uh, bedding areas, uh, places you don't want to stink up with your scent and let the cameras go. Uh, you won't have to go back near them five to six months and you're going to get pictures every day. You can go with just a regular Cuddy Link home, uh, pull the cards whenever you want, look at them, or you can go with a cellular option. I have pictures sent every hour, two hours, six hours, 12 hours, whatever you want. Uh, you'll be happy with this system. So if you're thinking about it, uh, do a little research, read up on the forums. Uh, don't take all the negativity to heart about the system. It's a great system if you know what you're doing. Uh, you understand what you're getting yourself into. Okay, thanks a lot.